Yo, what's going on, guys? It's Jaden, and um, today we are about to play some Acorn Fortress Stone. This is my first Let's Play I've ever done in my life. I actually started a game earlier just to see, but again, this is my first Let's Play. I'm making a different YouTube account just to do these Let's Plays and PlayStation 1 games and just retro games, kind of. Not really retro, but, you know, old games. And my favorite games back in the day were Harry Potter, like Harry Potter series on PlayStation 1, PlayStation 2. I'll probably end up doing the Sorcerer's Stone, and then I'll do the Chamber of Secrets, and I'll probably try to do the PlayStation 2 versions of Sorcerer's Stone, Chamber of Secrets, and Prisoner of Azkaban. We'll just see how it goes. So, I started the game. I got my recording set up. It took me time. I actually did a whole part, and it messed up. I recorded like 20 minutes, and it messed up, so I'm restarting, and hopefully this is right. So, let's let the old guy talk. And we'll continue on after he talks, so, yeah. I'm excited, guys, honestly. There was nothing about the starry sky that night to suggest that strange and mysterious things would soon be happening. As unsuspecting muggles slept, a huge motorbike with a giant astride it tumbled down from the darkness. The giant, named Hagrid, left a blanket-wrapped bundle on the doorstep of number four, Privet Drive. Nestled in the bundle was a baby, Harry Potter, the boy who lived. For the next 11 years, Harry lived with his dreadful step-parents, the Dursleys. Until that fateful day, when he received the letter inviting him to attend Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry, Hagrid took Harry to Diagon Alley to purchase a most unusual list of school supplies. Soon after, Harry caught the Hogwarts Express from Platform 9 and 3 quarters and left the Muggle world far behind. Harry sat beneath the sorting hat, hoping that he would not be chosen for Slytherin House over Gryffindor. Not Slytherin, eh? said the hat in his ear. You could be great. It's all here in your head, and Slytherin will help you on your way to greatness. No? Well, if you're sure, better be... Gryffindor! Alright, so the first loading screen, straight into Hogwarts. Mr. Professor Dumbledore about to walk down the stairs looking like a seal. The textures in this game are just horrible, but I mean, you can't really blame them. It's PlayStation 1, this game was made in 2001, so I would love for a recreation. That'd be awesome. Amazing. Welcome to Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. I am Albus Dumbledore, your headmaster. Now, Hogwarts is full of secrets, Harry, so search behind every door. But keep in mind, not all secrets are rewarding. Oh, um, which reminds me, uh, the third floor corridor is out of bounds to everyone who does not wish to suffer the most. Painful death. All right, that's a great talk. Nitwit, blubber, oddment, tweak, four wonderful words, don't you think? He's amazing, ain't he? Old Dumbledore. Love him. Too bad he died in the sixth book. Oh my God! If you don't know by now, like, I don't know. You have to know by now. Okay, so <clears throat> going to the Gryffindor Tower, and here's Fred and George sitting here. By the look of that scar. You must be Harry Potter. Some I'm Fred Weasley, and this is my brother, George. Hello there, Harry. We have a proposal for you. In Hogwarts, there are special portraits. Yes. And behind these special portraits are prizes. prizes but of course, not awesome. just anyone can open up the portraits. You need to know the password. If you bring us earwax every flavor beans, we'll tell you the password. We'll be in the Gryffindor common room, which is through the portrait of the fat lady. See you around, Harry. All right, so, um, that's Fred and George. Um, there's a secret passageway here. I'm gonna cover that later. I'm just, I'm gonna go ahead and do the plot. So, I've thought about it. Um, the last time I played this Let's Play, I accidentally ruined it. I went like 20 minutes over, but there wasn't a save point at all. So like, I couldn't really exit off the game. So I think I'm gonna go. I was gonna do like 12 minutes, but. I might go 20 minutes, it just depends, I don't know. Hey we'll Harry! See. 
Remember me, Ron Weasley? Ron. That Chris slimy, time. slithering Draco Malfoy, Draco Malfoy ran through this door with an owl with. under his arm. Yeah. I think it was your owl Hedwig. Let's go after him. All right, so every time I think of Sorcerer's Stone, PlayStation 1, this is the first thing I think of. Draco Malfoy's face and the blue feathers. I don't know why. This is what I think of. Like. Come on, Harry. Let's find Hedwig. Well, well, well. If it isn't I mean, the famous Harry just look Potter, at his face. I'm Draco Malfoy. And you do well to show me respect. I don't know. Looking I, for that owl of yours? Uh, How careless of man. you to leave it lying about. It Go home happy. to your mother, Potter. Me... Oh, sorry. You don't have one, do you? He's very rude for an 11 year old. Like, I don't. I don't get. It's crazy. Like, why He's is a nasty rude? piece of work. Just ignore He's, him. Uh, pure blood, but. Us Gryffindor should stick together. Pure blood slithering. <sighs> Could he be the heir? No, Come on, not. Harry, follow me. To climb up, just. Which floor is under controller? Okay, because <laughs> Harry has a controller in his hand. Let's go. Put forward on your controller, Harry, <laughs> to jump off the ledge. <sighs> follow me. There's the blue feathers. Collect them mm. to open the door. That's all I'm saying. To jump, just approach the egg. This isn't really a walkthrough, <laughs> it's more of like a playthrough. <laughs> oh. Look, there's another feather. Okay, I'm gonna, he's, mm. Ron's gonna run away. He's gonna let us do all the work, like, like always. This game is very lonely sometimes. Um, you're by yourself a lot, and it gets very lonely. Lonesome, which is a game is not big at all. Hello, Harry Potter. My name is Nearly Headless Nick, and I am the Gryffindor House Ghost. All right. Oh, look how tall this room is. Well, I mean, you must go all the way to the top to get out. Not bad. If you want to look around, press your triangle button. Okay. Really had this Nick talk so fast in this game. It's just crazy. This game. I just get it. This is awesome. Like, it brings back so many memories of when I was five years old playing it. Like, Harry Potter used to be my life. I wanted to paint my room Harry Potter themed. Everything. But. I am playing on my computer. I'm playing on the. E P S X E uh, uh, emulator. And I have it downloaded. So running on 1920, uh, 1080. Uh, I have like all the ultra settings or whatever. I'm recording with OBS. I don't know. I, it took a while. It took a while. Ah, so. some snails have escaped from a right care here. of magical creatures class. Careful, they are dreadfully poisonous. Press the cross button to cast the Flipendo no cross button. And watch out for those poisonous. There's a cross button. Why not that X button? I'm also using a PS4 controller, so. It's a little bit of an upgrade to the PlayStation Flipendo! Flipendo! But. I can't use the analog sticks, which I'm kind of You used can to. use your L. Flipendo! Flipendo! Oh wow. Okay. Well, let me get this shot. Just need to use my lips to work too. Flipendo! Okay. Boom. Let's go through this door. I think we need to have an extra. I just know this because I, you know, I went through a whole entire episode and it failed. So I'm not even going to grab that. I mean, I know mostly. What's going on? Hello again! Did you notice that those poisonous snails twinkled? Yes. yes. Things that twinkle can be affected. This is a jinx block. Your to move the jinx block cast. Okay. I'm gonna skip most of those because like it's, it's kind of obvious. Like, uh, it's, it's really obvious. How do I do stuff? I'm not gonna jump up there, but you get points for it, so why not? All right, let's run up here, get these feathers. There's a rat dancing. Just have scabbers. Scabbers. I just killed him. No, nope. he's small. He turned small. He's a big rat. Not flipping it up. He turned small. Oh my god, guys. This coral. Oh, I mean this Voldemort. I mean I don't. I actually don't know what it is, I'm guessing. It's cool. Flipendo! Flipendo! That's just kind of weird that he falls. Flipendo! And this is like the first day of, um, like, school, I guess. I mean, I 
I guess it's technically the first day of school. Which is weird, he's following us around. But it could be Snape. Um, I'm being sarcastic. It's not Snape. Alright. I'm Neville Longbottom. Malfoy led me down here and then ran through a secret passage with an owl. Now I'm trapped by these enchanted books. I've lost my wand, so I can't knock the books out of the way with Flipendo. Use the R1 button to point your wand at the flying books, then use your- Leave it to Neville. Flipendo! You little ass. Oh, he's running. He's running. He's not scared. The lever is around here somewhere. I think it's right there, Neville. Good job. There! I found it! What does the lever actually look like? I'm gonna go see what it looks like, because I'm, I'm really curious. Alright, let's just ignore what I just said completely. Because there's not even a lever there. I guess he took it with him. I, I don't know. Look at Hedwig. She's strapped. Why would Malfoy do such a thing? An 11 year old kid is gonna steal somebody's owl on the first day of class, run through Hogwarts randomly, and put a charge for Pendo not breaking might free Hegwood from those bars. That's Keep animal. the cross That's button held. That's thievery. How does he not get caught? How does he not get in trouble for it? go guys we did it thank you for watching no i'm just kidding let's see how f how much time we've been through so far i guess i can walk while i do this uh 10 minutes or so i think it's been more than 10 minutes i started this late but i see you rescued hedwig she was eager to get out so i opened the door for her that'll teach malfoy to mess with us I mean, hi yeah, i'm neville I'm in Gryffindor too. Neville Harry helped me escape from some flapping books. To nice Hi, to meet you, Neville. Neville. Come on down. Uh, it's all right. You guys go ahead. I think I've lost my toad, Trevor. Come on, Harry. Let's go. So he's just gonna stay there. And just look for his toad in that room. Do you, Neville? Do you? Oh man. What is this? Hedwig brought us a broom on the first day of school. Even the first first years aren't allowed to have rooms. I'm, I'm giving this game too much. Wow! Hedwig know. brought you a broomstick! I'll show you where the flying lesson is. Follow if this game didn't have what it has, then I don't know how it would be, honestly. What am I trying to say? Okay. I don't want to do flying lessons right now. I want to just skip that. Okay, never Here's mind. the doorway yeah, to the flying, flying lesson. Guys. Watch yourself, Harry. I hear Madam Hooch is really strict. I'm still waiting for my broomstick. Our stupid owl is ancient. It's going to take forever. Why I'll wait for you here. On? You don't play Quidditch till six year. So I turn my thing on in reverse. I hope it doesn't confuse me a lot. Cause when I did this the first time, I was absolutely horrible. Like, I was clicking I'm the Madam down Hooch, your up, teacher. Which is reverse. There is a house point bonus if you excel at any of the following tasks. I feel like I'm going to mess up. Stay your broomstick so using the directional all. buttons and press the cross button to move forwards. I do find First, the fly through each hoop that appears in sequence. I'm be On my whistle, then. Really okay. So, up is up, down is down. I was getting so confused and stuff. My fingers weren't in the right direction. Okay, so that's like the easiest. Excellent technique. Easiest Ten house points for getting them all. Level. The next test is a little harder, but there are bonus house points if you s fly through each magic hoop that appears. Ready, Potter? On my whistle, then. Three, two, one, go! Alright. It's actually kind of hard to do that. I'm so used to how this is. It's different. I don't know. Probably I'm probably going to set up the D-pad on this emulator. Like, for this game, I'm saying. Let's do it. Okay, that's enough time. Oh, 
shit. Oh shit. Well done, Potter. Judge, I shall award guys. 10 house Please points don't. for that fine performance. Ready for a tougher challenge? Okay. There are bonus house points for a perfect score. Be As before, you. fly through it's each hard. of the magic hoops. Okay. Concentrate now. On my whistle. Three, two, Here we one. Go. Let's go. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, This one. Yeah, there goes my chest. <laughs> oh shit. It's hard, boys. I swear. <laughs> if I had an analog stick, you know. Is just so freaking hard to control. Well done, Potter. A good score. Five more house points for Gryffindor. You have okay. mastered the basics of broomstick control. I didn't get the full now 10, run along. but it's okay. It'll be okay. I didn't get the full 10 points. Or the 15 points. However many she gives. I got five points. Whatever. That pisses me off. And here's Hi, Harry. Just make have you met Hermione yet? She's a real know-it-all. And a teacher's like, pet. Like, just like, no, I am real not. She's a know-it-all and a teacher's pet. Like, he's Hello, Harry. Four. Charm's like class is about right. to start. Isn't it exciting? She's rather annoying, isn't she? <laughs> That'll win to be. Good job, Ron. Good job. Run along, Hermione. With your books in her hand, like always. Okay. So here's a save point. I saved last time and I deleted my save file, so. We're about to see what happens. Checking memory card. Please save. Please. All right. One. Do you want to overrun the game? Yes. Saving data. Okay. So it should have saved. Maybe I should save it again, just in case. I'm definitely gonna get off this video and check and see if the save file is still here. Cause if it's not, I'm gonna be really pissed off. All right. So that's the first video, guys. Thank you for watching. Um. Definitely gonna see more. I'm just doing this for fun. I don't care how many views I get. I don't care how many likes I get. It's just for, you know, the fun of it. Just, I wanna do it, so I'm gonna do it. Who cares? Um, if you like it, uh, give it a thumbs up, whatever. If you don't like it, you know, you can comment down below. Don't give me a thumbs down. No, I'm just kidding. Do whatever. Um, I know I'm probably not the best live commentator. I'm gonna get better, but it's my first time. Like, honestly, I've done it so many times, like, without a camera. I don't know why, I just do it. But say I'm like doing something on the computer, I'll just like commentate while I do it, but there's like no camera or mic or anything. And I just do it, so I hope you guys enjoy. I'm gonna get off here. Uh, feel free to subscribe. And peace guys, thanks for watching.